Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Word on the street, you know, is that we forgot you, you haven't done it in so long. Word on the street. Hey, oh, look, they're so Hi, cute. Yeah. Good Sorry, morning. We're, we're, we're <laughs> in Town doing? Center Park in Hamden, tuning into Love Babs Love Talk. It's Nora and Maya. <laughs> Um, and today we've got someone named Paul who's out here gardening, who is willing to talk with us. Uh, can't figure out. There we go. <laughs> Hello, Paul. So Hi. what is the word on the street today? Um, it's hot and dry. <laughs> <laughs> I have to water the garden. <laughs> mm. Would you show us your plots? Sure. I have two. I didn't know there was a garden out there. Yes. Uh, is this Hamden's only community garden? It Do you is, know? It is, it oh. is the only one. Ooh. And this was built on a, on a former uh, parking lot. Whoa. So if you go oh. down, oh, let's say eight inches, 10 inches, there's actually paving. Whoa. Oh, wow. oh. Were you around in Hamden when they converted it into it? No, a... no, I, I wasn't. Okay, it's got cool. it. How do you know the history of it? <laughs> oh, just from asking people who were here longer. Right. Is there a real community or based around the garden? Like, do you know people with yes, other we, plots? Yes, something? we do. And, and sometimes we have... Uh, communal activities like uh, oh, yeah. we were here maybe a couple of years ago with for the fire fireworks we oh, sit in the garden and oh, we usually had a harvest party in in September or October that sounds so beautiful yeah. I love that so what are you out here doing today what um I'm, work I'm are you basically doing basically weeding and watering okay got it <laughs> those, are the, those are the big needs in in this time of year how often do you do that is it a weekly oh, thing probably or weekly okay okay got it um, yeah, wait, sorry, I interrupted myself, but would you want to show us a little bit of your sure. garden? What do you do with the, what do you do with the food? Like, what happens to it? It's a community mm. garden, but does it go somewhere? Do people um, take we, it? <laughs> mostly it's for our own consumption. Uh, we do have a couple of plots that are for, for the community to, to donate to the food, uh, food banks, that sort of thing. Okay, cool. Um, How many plots are... If for my in my case it's mainly for our own consumption because yeah. we don't really create that much food right mm -hmm. when you do you also like to cook is yes, that part? Yes. <laughs> especially with fresh vegetables and oh, yeah. and, and tomatoes and, uh, and things like that i was gonna say what are some of the meals that you've made from your harvest uh lots of tomato sauce mm. <laughs> are you italian i am italian okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah what are you growing in here besides tomatoes okay i'm over here oh okay we gotta yeah. back up wow that's a big garden yeah this is the full scene and there's a playground next door <laughs> oh i know where it is because you know what when you come yeah. into town if you don't if you don't look past the playground you would miss the garden that's, right i think that's how i imagine it right if i come in from the library side or back around right. the school size it's yeah it's kind of hidden between if you go into town center park you can get here by sort of following the road down or it's hidden right behind the library yeah you're right it's yeah. a little obscure <laughs> but okay is this the plot so this is this is one of my two plots okay um it's basically the you see the perimeter the tomatoes on this side and i have uh, this is coriander here on this oh. side mm. uh, and this has already been harvested. I had uh, I had two rows of fava beans. Oh. And they like to they like the cool weather. So when when it gets hot, they stop producing. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So right now that that will be I'm going to be turning that into uh, green beans, eventually. Oh. Right now I have a few uh, hot peppers and there's some uh, uh, these are shallots. Ooh. So what do and you grow? I'm sorry, Maya. I'm, I mean. Um, no, I'm so fascinated <laughs> by this. So when do you grow? Like, how do you know when to change? Because I guess the last growing season would be into the fall, right? That's right. Um, there are there are vegetables uh, that like cool weather. Mm -hmm. So we would be starting the plants probably now so that they would mature in uh, September, October, where they would, and if you, if you start them in the spring, they would, they would go to seed and you would not get a good, good vegetables. Mm. So you got to do that in the, in the, you got to do that in the late summer for harvesting in the fall. But tomatoes and peppers, they like it. They like the warm season. So they, we start those really early. Like uh, I started these seeds in uh, early April. 
Okay. How did you first get involved and did you already have like the gardening skills or did you learn along the way? <laughs> yeah, I, I've been gardening all my life, you know, coming from an Italian family. That's really our a tradition. My grandparents and my father always had a garden. Okay. And uh, I have a house with a, with a garden, but there's too many trees. Mm. So there's no, there's no sun. So this is, you know, this is full sun all day long, mm. which makes it ideal for for vegetables. And where did you grow up, actually? You said I grew up in Middletown. Oh, okay. How did you make the move to Hampton? Uh, I, I had a, uh, a job in North Haven. Oh, okay. What do you do professionally? Well, I'm retired now. Okay. Which is why I'm here <laughs> in the middle of the day. True. <laughs> but uh, uh, I, I worked as a chemist in, in Bethany. Whoa. Do you think that gives you um, any kind of advantage as a gardener, the um, chemical knowledge? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could read the I could read the uh, the chemicals on the fer on the fertilizer pack. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of fertilizer do you use? Uh, this is supposed to be an organic uh, garden, the, okay. whole, the whole place. So oh, okay. I, I use organic uh, uh, organic fertilizer. Okay. Do you make can do you make it yourself? Uh, we do make some compost, which mm -hmm. you know, very crudely. I we just keep all of our 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 uh, weeds here and eventually it turns into compost okay but mainly i use the the, the store-bought uh, organic fertilizer mm. and you said you started uh you do you pay for a plot here yes we you pay their oh okay okay um because did you you got when was the first time you got a plot here you said five years about ago? five years ago okay so what are some of the things you've grown over the five different years how often are you switching it up or growing yeah, the same things uh, you know you have different things um and with success and some and some failures yeah <laughs> <laughs> and you so you learn uh this is the first year i'm growing uh shallots mm. uh, which uh, i i really don't know how to cook with shallots but i'll learn <laughs> <laughs> and uh we've grown a lot of uh chinese vegetables <laughs> Mm. Uh, and uh, I always fava beans, always tomatoes. Uh, I, I tried sweet peppers, they didn't do very well. It looks like the hot peppers are doing better. Mm. <laughs> well, yeah. How many people are, um, have um, bought a plot? I, I don't even like saying buy a plot sounds a little... <laughs> sounds scary. a little morbid. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm trying to see how many plots there are. Some of them are owned by multiple, or are rented by uh, by multiple, by one person who mm. owns multiple plots. Oh, and so how do you find out about it? Like, how did you find out about this? Is this some someplace yeah. central in 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 City Hall, or like if other people want to come and rent a plot or garden, but they don't have the right. space in it, their it house? Is, it is through it is through cent, uh, town hall uh, through the mayor's office. Mm. Um, you have to make an inquiry uh, there's right now there's a waiting list mm -hmm. uh, to to for, for new people Elite. Yeah. right <laughs> okay so they so they keep it they they don't they don't just keep adding plots you have to right right you have to wait use existing plot okay yeah and, and there's a there's quite a big turnover because people i think realize that it's a lot of work yeah <laughs> and give it up until so the next person comes in with enthusiasm and hopefully they will mm. they will stay with it do you have any other hobbies beyond gardening or I, i'm a bir birder oh well we've interviewed birders on word on the street before actually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. i've seen some good birds in here so. yeah Ooh, what kind so, of birds yeah, yeah what kind of wildlife is around here? um Mostly sparrows. Um, there was a white, white, uh, white crowned sparrow here. I was excited about mm. one, one year. Uh, a lot of chipping sparrows. Some uh, uh, goldfinches a lot, which mm. are beautiful to see, especially when the sunflower seeds ripen. Mm. Uh, it, it draws the, the goldfinches. So it's you know a beautiful, That's beautiful awesome. spot. And we get the, a lot of butterflies. Mm. And how is retirement going? What is your day going to look like after this? How do you uh, spend I have a your lot time? Of things to do. <laughs> <laughs> retirement is busy. <laughs> so, is it expensive uh, to have a plot? I mean, the, how much does it cost? You Can say you 20? say? It's, it's $20, which is very inexpensive. In like a year, a month, or? For, for a year. Really? Yeah. And it includes uh, all the water that you need. Okay. And uh, some years we've actually had 
dump uh, dumpings of uh, compost, which has been nice. It hasn't happened this year. Mm. So there's a support from the from the town, which has been very very good. Mm. Do you spend time here when you're not gardening as well? It's no, I see some not, tables not over really. there. I, I'm always <laughs> I'm always drawn to to pick weeds or something. So it's hard to relax. <laughs> always working. <laughs> always working. <laughs> um, Babs, Harry, do you have any final questions? I realize no, I, we're at the end of the hour. I, lo I mean, so I, I love that you have grown some fava beans. That's very Italian. Mm. Um, so, <laughs> do, so do you feel like you grow too much food or, or is it just enough? <laughs> I think it's just enough, just enough. Because uh, I, I, I make sauce with the extra tomatoes. The, the pepper, the hot peppers can be frozen. Mm. The, the, the fava beans have, uh, have, some of them been eaten and some of them have been frozen mm. for, for, for the winter. Mm. So yeah, nothing gets wasted really. Mm. Okay. And and is there in is there anything other plant that you'd like to try to grow yeah. that you haven't tried before? Uh, probably different kinds of melons would be fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they take a lot of room, so you have to have some kind of structure for them to to climb on usually. Mm. Maybe next year. Maybe next time. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Well, thank you so much, Paul. You're welcome. Thank you. Back thank to you. you. Thank you, Maya and Nora. Learned something new. It's pretty cool. I didn't know they had that. <laughs>